They made that Seahawks defense look like they were the Iron Curtain. They're not that good. Let's just be real. Welcome back to another episode of Caps Off. Week one is officially in the books. It had everything. But oh there is something that we need to talk about. Because all offseason, that man right there was pounding the drum for the Denver Broncos. And saying Still no am. one's talking about them. And Still you know who's am. talking about them right now? The entire world. Because what yeah. happened on Monday night? I mean, bad coaching. Russell Wilson played well, though. So it's like everybody's talking about Russell Wilson didn't play well. Broncos, mania, everything that went wrong. They lost the game, but they missed three opportunities in the red zone that they could have scored. So if you really think about it, they could have won by 14 to 17 points. That's a blowout in the NFL. They lost the game. It's week one. Let's not overreact. I mean, but here, here's like my thing with that, though, is like you're not overreacting with that, but with the Chargers, you're reserved because you don't like yep. Brandon Staley. But Nathaniel Hackett looks even worse than Brandon Staley as a coach and decision-making and everything. That's a calculation right like, there. Like, I don't understand that's how you can I'm be... I'm not overreacting to either of them. Like, the Chargers, I had them in the back power rankings. The Chargers have a better started. coach and a better quarterback, and yet you're like all... High and mighty on the Broncos. Because we hadn't seen them play, but now we saw them play. Now we're going to reveal our power rankings at the end of this show. Okay. And That's fair. We, I might right. have the Chargers there. But my biggest it's problem, one. my biggest problem, I agree with you. Russell Wilson played well. I don't think he played good enough. Personally, he missed some throws out. You know, he left some throws is out it, there on the field. Is I, it too early to? Is it? It might not be too early to be concerned with Nathaniel Hackett. You could have had Brian Dayball. Obviously, we saw what he did with the Giants last weekend and, you know, in week one. But, you paid $242 million for that quarterback. You gave away your entire future. And you know what you do? You put it in the hands of a kicker that's never hit a field goal more than 60 yards. Yeah, see, that makes no sense. That Russell, was crazy. Russell Wilson is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, and you pay him that kind of money to convert in those situations. Now, why they didn't give him the ball in that situation to go get a first down and just make it a manageable field goal situation? I mean, forget time management, all that. That was weird. But at least give him that fourth and five to go get a first down and at least get better field like, goal. Yeah, you're, you're telling me one of the best quarterbacks that we've seen in the, like this, like what, the past decade can't get you a fourth and five? I saw something crazy. I saw in Russell Wilson's career on fourth down conversions, he's like 68%, entire career. Holy. In the last 30 years in the NFL, there's a six or 7% conversion rate on 60 plus yard field goals. Right. So you're telling me Russell Wilson is a guy that's not going to get you. A first down on that play, but 64-yard field goal is like, going to be the one even, that converts. Even if you're in Denver with the altitude and everything, 64 yards, why That's are you? Far. Here's the thing what, why I'm not so worried about the Broncos is because coaching gets better over time, over the season. Like The same way the players have to knock off the rust, so do the coaches. And the coaches and the players are supposed to be one synchronous unit, right? So let that happen over the season. You're going to miss one game. That's fine. Let that get better. The talent's there. We saw it perform last I night. And they lost by one. To the Seahawks, who aren't a great team, but it's an NFL team. I just, one of the best coaches in the NFL and Pete Carroll. Let's let's put it into perspective. Look, I agree with you, but they made that Seahawks defense look like they were the Iron Curtain. Like, yeah. this intense line of defense, and they're not that good. Let's just be real. I'm not worried about the Broncos getting to the one-yard line in week one and fumbling twice. I'm, I'm worried about points. Nathaniel Hackett. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah I'm not worried. Coaching. Okay, so, n- when so there's, when did, there's Hackett division, fumble, so did Hackett that? fumble on the one-yard line? Did Hackett give the he wrong f- running back the ball at the one-yard line who did fumble? Wrong running back. Bro, Melvin Gordon is a Pro Bowl running back. You want to know it another? It doesn't matter. A few also, years ago, not also, anymore. Also, you're talking about Melvin Gordon fumbled. Javante, Javante he also, he fumbled also on the fumbled. one yard line too. He also fumbled yeah. as well, yeah. Oh, okay. So now but we're I'm supposed saying, to give it to one that, running back. There's a time and the other running back the fumbles the as well. Both running backs are fumbling the ball. And you got to give the ball to somebody who's going to run the ball. Russell Wilson, little QB sneak. I don't hey, care. Man, you're sweating. Yeah, both actually, quarterbacks you're sweating. are fumbling. You're sweating. On the one. On the one. Are but you're also you're running the ball from the shotgun at the one yard line. I don't understand that. I'm, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's got to chill. I'm chilling. Nathaniel Hackett, though, I'm worried. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, you want to know my biggest problem, it's too? Really great. It's a small like thing. It. It's a small thing. But Nathaniel Hackett at the end of the game was just calling timeouts, like being all petty and shit. I don't like that I didn't like as that well. at all, yeah. For me, I think he's – I'm not worried about the Broncos in its entirety yet. Yeah. Obviously, there were moments that they'll want back and they'll get back as the season goes, you know, further. But at the same time, it's, it's something to take note of. The Broncos are still better than the Chargers. No, they're not. The Chargers thing, one of the biggest problems with the Chargers was on first and second down, making Justin Herbert have to play hero ball on third down. And they converted on first and second down a lot more – on Sunday than the, the Broncos did. I feel like the Broncos had how many third downs? Do we know how many third downs they, they, they needed to convert? No, nah, I, don't, I don't know the number of third downs, but you're talking about how many points they gave up to the Seahawks. They gave up 16 points. They gave up 17. G- Geno Smith points. looked yeah, Gino, awesome. Gino, Gino Smith, Smith picked hold them up, apart. Hold up, hold up. Any defense in the NFL that gives up 17 points is putting your offense in a position to win. 
Okay, seventeen points is nothing. Gino looked good though. G- no, That's I'm fine. telling. You, if Gino he Smith is able to put up seventeen, what's Justin Herbert? What's Patrick Mahomes? What's Derek Carr? I know Derek Carr didn't look great this week, but what are they going to do against them? That's, that, that's that's easy. The that's Broncos hard. could very well finish last in the division this year if that's how their defense is looking and that's how Nathaniel Hack is going to coach. Well, you've same, been all- and here's the thing about overreacting, right? The same way we're going to overreact with the Broncos and what they did week one. Now they're going to be the worst team in the division. The Raiders lost the to same, a really good team the and the Broncos we, lost to a shit Seahawks It's the same team. way we could say that Geno Smith is going to be the best quarterback in the NFL this year. He's probably a top seven quarterback out of performance this week. No. He's not, he's not even close to a top 20 quarterback in the NFL. So, like, let's not overreact not getting, over one week of the Broncos. I'm not, I don't think the we're same overreact- way we're not going to overreact with one week of Geno Smith. I don't All think right. we're overreacting that much of the Broncos, to be honest. So, how can you pick and choose? How can we because, pick and choose? Yeah, you're picking and choosing. You're saying the Broncos, you're not going to overreact with Geno Smith, but you're going to overreact with the Broncos. I'm not overreacting with the Broncos. I think it's a fair reaction with the Broncos. I think it's a fair reaction. I'll give you that. It's a fair reaction. Look, nothing to be concerned about necessarily for the long term. They're going to figure it out. They have a ton of talent. Nathaniel Hackett, terrible head coach in week one. He got another 16 He could be better. Ago, right? He could get you better. Want... But if this is how he's going to coach, that's the worst but team But you've been the saying they're going to win the division. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about the Broncos. You know who's going to win the division? I don't care what the thing about I'll, the, I'll the Broncos. I'll, I'll bring, I'll bring, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. I will change on my, my division take. And Ooh. the reason I'll change on my division take is not because of the Broncos' ineptitude. Because I think they are really good, and I think they're going to pick back up. Coaching is going to get fixed. Like I said, it's a week one mistake, right? But the Chiefs are the best team in the NFL. And, and this isn't something new that I'm saying. I had, the Chiefs number, I had the Chiefs number one in my power rankings last week. I was the only one that had the Chiefs number one. So I knew they were going to perform, okay? But I did not expect to see the Chiefs perform the way they did. Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback in the NFL. Easily. He's the greatest close. talent we've ever seen on a football field. Whoa. Not go that far. Ooh. And the Chiefs look better without Tyreek Hill than they looked with Tyreek Hill. And we were worried about the Chiefs without Tyreek Hill, and they look better than every other team the, in the NFL. He was spreading out to everyone. He looked, Everyone's getting a, a touch. He looks good. Like, I, I don't. I still take Aaron Rodgers over Patrick Mahomes, but with that performance, right I'm now, not, I'm not. Are you kidding me? If you like what you saw this episode, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And again, if you're looking for any betting analysis and any betting advice, go to thegameday.com. You're gonna find everything.